Hi guys. Can you put carry yourself to me? Thank you very much. Oh, Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bimi. I'm a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. If you're returning back to my channel, loyal gang. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> thank you for being here. I really, really do appreciate it and I do not take it for granted. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you come here, you watch my videos and you skedaddle out of the video. Why, why are you doing that don't, please don't do that don't just subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell to also get notified anytime and every time i post a video okay all right <laughs> so today guys i am uh, making the this video this video is basically essentials things that i found very very helpful um so far my baby is three months old um so for the for zero to three months um, the things that I have found essential and very helpful for my babies, for my newborn so far. I'm a very minimalist person, if there's a word like that. Um, so I don't use a lot of things, but the products I'm about to mention are things that, oh my god, they work absolutely well for me. This video was requested. I think so. The person even reminded me again like a couple of days ago. I was like, okay, I need to film this video. So if you're interested in finding out the things that we absolutely use every day of our lives, like I really cannot do without then just keep watching this video. So I'm going to be starting with the things that makes my baby happy, obviously, and then just move on to other things. So one of the things that makes Tisha happy is my boo. When she gets to eat. <laughs> so um, yeah, so she she's breastfeeding, and then you guys already have a breastfeeding and pumping video up. So I get to pump or I get to breastfeed her. So I absolutely cannot do it without my breast pumps. Like they are the most amazing things ever. <laughs> yes, uh, go and watch that video if you don't if you haven't seen it. But yeah, I cannot do without my breast pumps. I have a Spectra, I have a Medela, and I have a a hacker yeah. the second thing i cannot do without or live without are my baby's bottles she has two different types she has the dr brown's bottles the dr brown's anti-colic bottles and she has the tommy tippies so i cannot do without those bottles like tisha loves them she doesn't have what's that thing they call nipple confusion or something she doesn't have that sometimes she takes the tommy tippies sometimes she takes the dr brown's whichever one i just feel like um just putting her milk in and she still also latches on the boot and the tommy tp ones especially were very helpful because the ones i got initially were the dr brown's bottles and then when she started having like colic gas whatever around when she was about a couple of weeks old um i had to go get the tommy tps because they said they really mimicked like the flow from the breast so i had to get that and they were very 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 helpful i'm not even gonna lie so guys i had to include this last minute while i was editing this video because i totally forgot about it while i was filming so this is the infant millicon gas relief this really helped us so much when um tisha was a couple of weeks old and she was having gas issues and colic and all that it was so much like i didn't know what to do i was frustrated and then one night i had read about it and somebody had told me about it so i ran out of the house around like 11 p.m left tisha with my mom went to walmart and i had to get this this is our i think this is the third bottle that i have um she doesn't really have gas issues anymore but i just had this just in case something like this ever comes up i had to buy this extra bottle this was a lifesaver i'm not even going to lie it was a lifesaver now i don't know where you can get this in nigeria i don't know if it is sold anywhere here um correct me if i'm wrong please but i'm sure there should be like variations of it here in nigeria i have actually recommended it to two other people and they said it also worked so guys get yourself this your child may not have gas issues or colic issues but in case they do this will be very very helpful the next thing i cannot do without are the mittens the you know the mittens the gloves that she wears i can't do without that because tisha just likes putting her hands in her mouth and especially with all this like virus that is going on right now like I always have to cover her hands. I don't want, like, she tries to still put the mittens in her hands, but by the time she just puts it, she sees that it's not her hand, she just puts it down. So, it's been really, really helpful for us, even though people are always like, what is this on her hand? What is this on her hand? My dad doesn't even like this. He doesn't like scenes on her hands. And we stopped it for a while, but then she went back to putting her hands in her mouth. I'm like, nope, 
no no so i love my baby's meetings a lot of people say they're a waste of money it's not a waste of money for me they're working fine in fact i had to purchase like two more for her so the next thing on the list is tisha's pacifier and it's not just any pacifier the reason why i said so is because we bought like one um pacifier for her when she was just born she did not take that she was always crying and she spat it out and then we were advised to get these hospital grade ones i don't know what they're called i think they're called i can see www.childmed.com i think they said they are the hospital grade ones children's medical ventures but they're basically just rubbery like this can you guys see just rubbery like this yeah and we got like two for her and it's just been the absolute best, honestly. It's like it's worked out fine. She loves her pacifiers. It suits her. She can fall asleep while just you know having a pacifier in her mouth. So yeah, like we like when I'm going out, I'm like I hope we have a. We always even take the two along everywhere just in case one falls down or something. So we absolutely love Tisha's pacifier. The first on the list is the diaper bag. I love my baby's diaper bag and that was the last thing I bought when I was buying my the things for my hospital bag I love Tisha's diaper bag I cannot do without it like it's like our second home like <laughs> everything is inside that bag I have change of clothes from like two weeks ago that we didn't get to use and like we've not used at all but it's just there permanently like I just like I can I, I can go out comfortably I know that I am fine because of that diaper bag like it is so helpful it takes a lot of things it takes a lot it takes so many of our things and yeah it's just really good easy to carry handy it gets, doesn't get dirty it's just you know it's the best another thing that has been essential for us is the baby carrier so we have the baby carrier i can't remember what brand it's called but i will put a, a picture i probably put the brand name of the one that we have because you know there's so many out there but it's been very very helpful like once she gets fussy starts moving around and she wants to sleep and she just wants to be held especially when i just feed her and she wants to fall asleep you know and she hasn't burped i just put her in the carrier carrier for like 30 minutes you know that way her food can settle down before i like lay her on the bed so the carrier is pretty essential very helpful especially when you travel if you travel a lot you're going to need the carrier if you're in nigeria it's something you can easily carry if you're going to the hospital you can put her in it go into the bag without you know and it also allows your hands to be free while you do other things even within the house even around the house so our carrier is very essential yes i use our carrier almost every day for her also another essential thing for me and for my baby is my nursing bras and my pumping bras like they've been i, I didn't get like any brand name ones i just went to the regular store walmart and i just got nursing bras and i and in my size and i got pumping bras like pumping bras are so essential um um, for when you're pumping because you want your hands to be free while you can do other things and be pumping you don't want to just be holding your boobs and you're pumping and you can't use your hands to do any other thing especially when you're going to pump for like 30 minutes straight so pumping bras are very essential nursing bras oh my god they like are so helpful like i can easily breastfeed to shame in public and i'll still be fine and everything so this is another thing that i had to include last minute that i completely forgot about while filming the video this is a nursery kit set for your baby i highly recommend this for everyone to get it it may not be like fancy fancy or it might be fancier than this but it's actually very essential especially this um nasal i think it's called is it called nasal aspirator or something so basically Basically, um, when your baby's nose is congested, that is what I used to like suction out um, whatever mucus or whatever might be in the nose. I know traditionally people like to use their mouths, mother like to, mothers like to use their mouths to suck it out, but this has actually been also very helpful for me. Um, also very handy to have a thermometer to always check your baby's temperature. You never go wrong with having a thermometer. I check my baby's temperature all the time because sometimes your hand will not just do justice to knowing how hot or cold your baby is. And also, if your baby has nails like Tisha's nails that you have to cut like every Every week because they grow so long you um she scratches herself on the face with her nails you also need to get your hands on this kit set because it has the nail cutter which will do very good job in cutting the nails so i recommend that you get this nursery kit set it has a whole bunch of other things it has a pacifier it has this teething thing it has so many other things it has a comb it has a lot of things in here 
that will be helpful as your baby grows older. Another okay. thing I absolutely love for my baby are uh, sleep suits or play suits. You know, the ones that you just put her in and you just zip her up. And I think also because she's a newborn or, you know, for the first three months of her life, she was basically not going anywhere. It's not like she had to wear fancy clothes. There's no fancy clothes to wear for her. She's always at home 247, except when we go to church or something. Like, so the sleep suits and play suits were all she actually lived in. So they are very, very essential she can wear like two in a day so make sure you can like stock up on that and make sure you don't you don't get like the ones that it snap try to get the ones that have the zip they're way much easier your baby also feels very comfortable in them and you know that's all <laughs> that's all she, the baby wants you know and you, and especially in nigeria where we're in a place where maybe if you're if you turn on the ac it might be too cold but you know that her hands and her feet are like you know pretty covered and everything um and in case of mosquito you also know that <laughs> our, all our, all part of our body is covered it's just our face that is left so yeah place with sleep suits so very important another very essential item is the bassinet with mosquito net if you live in nigeria your bassinet with mosquito net is very very important you can't i wanted to get like fancy bassinets but i had to give myself brain that listen mosquito net <laughs> is important so i found one that has a mosquito net because sometimes you can even like have insecticide all over in your room but for some reason this one or two mosquitoes still manage to slip through the cracks and you know you don't want your big how can your baby be having malaria in the first three months of your lives no you don't even want that at all so you need to get a bassinet with a mosquito net okay and ours has been very 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 essential and very helpful another thing is our changing mat this changing mat i have two i bought this one but then somebody get gifted me another one so i'm like like super stoked anyways i love this changing mat i love it so much um, it's actually longer than this but we had to remove the because it was bulky so we had to remove the the head part of it because she still fits in this one you know when you put her on it like it's so helpful especially when you go if you go out you don't have to put your baby in uncompromising places that you know you don't know what what has been there so you can easily put your mat um if you're traveling the same thing and you can just put your baby to change your baby and then i like the material of the mat itself like in case the, your baby poops and you know the poop stains the mat it's something you can easily just take a, a, um, your wipes and just like whoop and just wipe it and it's all gone like it's not that like, you have to wash it or anything absolutely love 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 the changing mat another very essential thing that has helped us and works for us every day is the boppy pillow um i used to have the small one where i put her and she would sleep but we left that um in the US. it actually wasn't mine it was for somebody i borrowed it and it was very helpful i didn't buy one because i already had um, the pregnancy pillow which is also like a boppy pillow in nigeria so i knew that i would also use that one when i came back and that's what we use for her now so i use it to breastfeed her you know just put it around my waist and i breastfeed her so i don't have to be slouchy when i breastfeed or when she's sleeping i can just you know use it as like like for her to be sleeping slanting in a way i don't know how to explain that but just for, so her head is on the pillow and her body is on the bed um also just to shield her and guide her because my baby can jump and jump and jump and jump when she's sleeping so it just helps her you know um, stay within the range that I want her to stay. And the last but not the least thing that we use is her bouncy chair. I think it's called bouncy chair. I don't know what it's called. I'll insert a picture. Tisha loves that chair, and that chair gives all of us peace of mind. Like it makes us, <laughs> it makes all of us rest in the house. Like once you just give her a pacifier and you put her on her chair, and you even face, you want to now face her to watch the TV let me tell you something my daughter will sleep off by herself like you don't even need to rock her initially we have we've had the chair for a long time but we just used to play with her in it and then my cousin came to the house one day i was like she can sleep in this chair and she was sitting in the chair and my cousin was bouncing her in the chair and she slept off. that was the first time my daughter slept off in that chair when she woke up later she fed my cousin had left i just put her in the chair just for play she slept off by herself since then all of us like yeah we still back her and everything but that chair whoo i swear by it and it's not like it has it doesn't have anything gang, 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 gang. like it doesn't have all the we even forgot the um you know the toys that comes with the chair we forgot in america but it, it just works like she doesn't even need the toys all she just needs to do is sit be strapped in it and 
just with her pacifier she could be watching you she could be watching the tv watching anything and she falls right asleep and plays by herself in the chair so the chair is a lifesaver and it is a very very essential for us it's very essential for us so if you want to get it you should get it so that is all the essential things that i use for my baby on a daily basis um we don't use anything much like i said already i'm very minimalist i'm a minimalistic person if there's a word like that <laughs> um yeah so yeah yeah, that's basically it um if you have any questions let me know any other videos you want me to make don't hesitate to let me know leave it in the comment section below or send me a message people send me messages all the time um yeah and if you have any comments things that also helped you and were very essential and you want to share with others put it in the comments also thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys